For the first time, Huntington's disease has been successfully treated with gene therapy. It's a medical breakthrough. So we bring in our 90s medical expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. First, uh, just jog our memory, remind us, what is Huntington's disease? Yeah, so it's a genetically acquired brain disorder. So if you have a parent with Huntington's, you have a 50% chance of getting wow. that gene and having Huntington's. And if you have that gene and you may not know it, you're gonna go on to have Huntington's disease, which starts to manifest in your 30s or 40s. And essentially what happens is you make this mutant protein called the Huntington protein. It's mutant, it accumulates in your brain, causes cell death of your brain tissue. And I remember the first time I met a patient with Huntington's, he was 50 years old, and they have three sort of different problems. One is movement disorders. So it's something called chorea, which are these like writhing movements where they just can't stop writhing mm. around. Almost they look as if they're possessed. Then you have cognitive problems. So he had dementia as well. And then you can have psychiatric problems, anxiety. He's specifically had a lot of aggression. So you can imagine if you're someone who carries this gene, knowing that there's no cure for it, we don't have good treatments for it. This type of a breakthrough is really game changing. Especially because, and, and thank goodness for this uh, game changing breakthrough, but what therapies do work? Are there any therapies that have worked? Nothing to slow the disease progression. The disease is just progresses on its own. And depending on kind of how bad your gene is, every next generation, the disease comes on earlier and more aggressively. That's something called genetic anticipation, which means if your parents, if your father got it at 50, you might get it at 40 or 30, depending on how many of those mutations you accumulated. And there's no therapies or treatments to change the disease. It's just to treat the symptoms. That's really scary. Yeah. Uh, so how will this new therapy work? Do you think it's going to be effective? I think it is. So here's what they do. It's a, like a 12 to 18 hour brain surgery where they actually put a catheter and you put you in an MRI scanner. So you're being operated on in the scanner and they infuse uh, this gene therapy. It's a gene therapy because the problem is with the gene. So you have to fix the gene. And what they've done is a really smart tactic here. They've taken a virus that's inactive, doesn't make you sick, and basically put something on it that carries, the virus carries this treatment into the brain tissue where they inject it. And then the brain tissue picks up the virus and starts making its own therapy. Wow. It's something called microRNA, which turns off the messenger RNA. So it turns off the bad protein right in those cells. So you give a one-time infusion during the surgery and it continues to make its own therapy in the brain. And one of the challenges of treating conditions in the brain is you can't get drugs into the brain really effectively because there's something called blood-brain barrier. And with Huntington's, you start to have symptoms usually decades after you've already had the damage. Mm -hmm. So really you want to start to get them in an early stage. And what this does is it essentially slows down the progression of the disease by 75% in three years. That, I can only imagine how people that are affected by either personally or a family member, they must be hearing this and they hope that they too can get this treatment. Is it going to be expensive? It is, and so gene therapies are very expensive. So they're thinking they're applying for a regulatory approval to get it in the United States by Q1 of next year. It hasn't been published yet. It's only been in 29 patients, but it's shown so much promise that they're hoping to accelerate it. Now, gene therapy in the UK, the average estimated cost for like hemophilia, for example, is 2.6 million pounds oh. for that one-time infusion. So you're talking about a really expensive price tag. How is that possible? It, we have to make it possible because this disease, which is pretty rare, is otherwise universally fatal, it's progressive, and we have no other treatment that's worked to date. So somehow we'll have to figure out how to price it a little bit lower, but you can imagine all of this technology research, it's got a big price tag to it. Sounds like a miracle. Mm -hmm. I'm really but it shouldn't excited. be a miracle to get it. Y you know? That's right. Like, yep. Right. And, and if you ever see a patient who has Huntington's, one of the things I'm hoping for is that we can get it to people who, who carry the gene but haven't yet started declaring the signs. Because at this point, a lot of my patients whose parents have had it refuse to even check their own gene because it's a death sentence. Yeah. And it comes on earlier than it did for your parents. And so now if we have something we can offer them even as a preventive, I think that's really incredible. Yeah. Incredible news, Dr. Coley. Thank you. You can find more of Dr. Coley always at 9news.com slash Dr. Coley.